You can't ever go wrong with Deadpool, man. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Star Wars action figure review on the Star Wars 6 inch Black Series Tusken Raider, or Pillard Tusken. I, I don't know, is Pillard his name, or is Pillard Raider in another language? And this is just a translation right here. But either way, if you're trying to pick this up, you can get it up. Big, big, big. Get your big, badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com. Click the link in the description below. Looks like we're getting a pretty decent amount of accessories over here. I'm pretty excited about this figure. I already like the head sculpt. And we get a nice image of the Tusken Raider right there. And on the side, it says Tusken Raider on the back of the packaging. So if you want to read that, go ahead and pause it now. And you can see he's number 41 and 41 right over there. Not much more on the top or at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the Tusken Raider out of the packaging. And I try to get him in a fairly dynamic pose over here because it's very easy to not get this guy into dynamic poses. And I wanted to utilize that, especially because you can. Uh, not the craziest poses, but you know, pretty decent pose. No, no. I like the figure a lot and it does come with more accessories than I really thought it would. So let's get a closer look at those and then we'll get a closer look at the Tusken Raider. And here are all four accessories. Well, it's actually two accessories, but you get these interchangeable parts over here. But anyway, here's looking at the rifle, which I like very much. I mean, look at that silver paint right there. Nice intricate detail in the sculpt. Like these little pieces right here of silver throughout. Nice looking scope, nice looking wood grain right there. And then the barrel is very long, uh, a little bit warped, so I do need to heat this up, straighten that out. I'm sure it'll be very easy. You know, it couldn't be too difficult. What happened to my finger over here? Anyway, looking on the other side of it, you get this little piece coming around the side. Not looking too bad. Yeah, I like it a lot. Uh, as far as him holding it, uh, it does work best having him hold it in his right hand because he has a trigger finger sticking out right there. So you just kind of want to wedge it in. And the trigger finger goes through the guard very well. So I like that. You know, that works pretty well. So you can get him to hold it. Unfortunately, there is no side-to-side uh, -side hinge on the wrist, which would really make things a lot easier for posing, you know, for him shooting and stuff, especially if you want him to get, you know, some sniper poses in there. But, yeah, at least he holds it. But, yeah, I'm a little bummed out about that. But, anyway, uh, we have our Gadurfi stick right here, which I'm not sure on that pronunciation. So go ahead and correct me if I'm wrong. But I think this is very cool looking. I like the little sculpt that we're seeing right here for this little ball part right there. And then we get some nice sculpt the detail right along here and then you have this end right over here and you can swap this out with one of these other pieces um, as you can see in this picture right here we have three Tuscan Raiders and they have different ends to them so um, from what I understand uh, if you hit somebody with this one uh, it freezes them and then if you hit somebody with this one it gives the victim an electric shock then if you hit somebody with this one they turn ugly <laughs> because it's an ugly stick. No? Not funny? Okay, sorry, I just made all that up, but yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think all three of these are very cool. I, I like them a lot, especially this silver one right here, but the one with the flaps right over here, I, I think this is the one that you actually see in the movie when the Tusken Raider pops up holding this over his head. <laughs> So yeah, I'll probably have him displayed holding this one. And just to show a couple more images right over here for reference, I gotta say Hasbro did a fantastic job with this. I absolutely love how this head sculpt came out. Just so many little details in here that they just nailed. Like even having the goggles a little askew like this, I think that's really well done. Uh, the paint could be a little bit better right there. We have some more of the lighter brown mixing into the darker brown of his mouth culo right there. Which even has a little bit of paint variation if you look at it close enough. But we get some nice silver right over here for the teeth. And looking on that side, it looks really good as well. We get some nice silver bits, right? Very bright silver. And I really like how these bandages or these wraps came out. You can see the lines sculpted in there. We get some nice black going in through all those creases and everything. Just looking fantastic. They just killed it with this head sculpt, man. I actually really like this figure a lot. I think this may already be one of my favorite Star Wars Black Series figures. Especially because I really like how the soft goods mix in with this too. I mean, this looks fantastic. That's just great, man. That is awesome. And the plastic over here and the gold paint. These straps going around his torso look really good. All these pouches look great as well. Nice wash on them. Nice silver, or I mean gold. What? Silver? Why would I say silver? It's gold. And then looking at this waistband going all the way across. Looks really nice. And we get some nice paint detail right here on the back, even though it's totally covered up. Even the little buckle right there. So yeah, man. I think Hasbro did an exceptional job on this piece. 
Then here's looking at his robe. And then you get some very nice dark effects right over here. You have to darken things up, but you can see, you know, it gets all dirty right there at the bottom. And the same thing right over here. You can see all the texturing and all that. Very cool. I like how the boots came out, you know. I just want to lift this up so you can see his legs. Woo! Yeah, and then we get nice straps right there. Looking fantastic. I love that. Very much looking like a mummy. I like that a lot. That is great. Really good job. I'm very pleased with this. Uh, one thing I just wanted to note is that it feels like this is attached around the neck and then his arms go through these sleeves right over here. And then this is sewn together at the bottom so it makes a sleeve and then it hangs down. And when you get this figure, uh, this whole thing right here is actually tucked underneath. So just to kind of give it a demonstration of just kind of like what it looks like, you know, it's all folded up on the inside of this. So when you get this out of packaging, um, you know, don't feel bad about unraveling that. I mean, you shouldn't anyway, but I just thought it was kind of weird when I saw that. I was like, huh, that's kind of neat. You know, maybe I want to leave them like that for a minute, but no, don't do that. It looks much better like this. Now I kind of like, and I also dislike the articulation on this guy. It's not horrible, but there are some bits of it that are to be desired. Uh, for instance, the head won't turn up that much. Uh, it just barely looks up at all, which again is frustrating for him, you know, trying to get him into a sniper pose. Uh, you can't really move the head down too much, but it does, you know, wobble that much. You get side to side movement and no head pivot really. It's like on a ball joint and for some reason it can tilt that way, but it can't tilt to his left. So that's a little strange. He has shoulders that move outward all the way and they move down all the way. Uh, doing a full 360 is something you're not going to really want to try doing. Um, I guess I guess like you could try to spin the arm within the robe right over there. Uh, he has a single jointed elbow that bends only this far, not quite meeting the 90 degree mark. And you also get a swivel at the elbow and then you get a swivel at the wrist and then it hinges down and up on both sides. Again, uh, for this side right here for the rifle grabbing hand, I wish he had, you know, a roll of the dice motion. And I did not show off the details underneath the sleeve right over here too. I should have showed that off, but yeah, that looks great. Very similar to how it looks on around his uh, legs right there. He has a ball joint at the waist so he can crunch forward a little bit as well and move back and he does have a good amount of pivot right over here. Come on, pivot around. There it goes. There it goes. And then he has hip joints. I like that we have these cuts on the sides so he can move his legs outward that far and then he will only kick forward that much and he will move back a little bit. Upper thigh cut right there. Double jointed knees, come on. Double jointed knees. I haven't actually moved this joint yet, so it's a little on the stuck side. I feel like if I keep pushing it, I'm going to break it. And there goes the double jointed knee, right on. And then you can move the ankles down, they move up and he does have ankle pivot. And to measure out the Tuscan Raider, you can see that he is standing just a little over six inches tall. And then for a size comparison, we have the Tuscan Raider next to the Tatooine Luke Skywalker. And then here's the Tuscan Raider next to Jerkface Anakin Skywalker. And then here's the Tuscan Raider next to my only original Star Wars action figure. I believe this is from Kenner, right? The Kenner Tuscan Raider from the Star Wars and New Hope. And man, I, I'm very happy to have this. This is very, very precious to me. My Aunt Nina gave this to me a few years ago and I'm very, very stoked to have it. Thank you for thinking of me, Auntie Nina. And of course, here's the Tuscan Raider next to the Marvel Legends Big Time New Letdown Spider-Man. I had to do it one more time. I'm sorry. I just had to do it. I really like this figure a lot. This is a great Black Series figure. I'm very, very pleased with this Tuscan Raider. It's not perfect. It's far from perfect. There's a lot of little things here and there to complain about, but still, I really like it a lot, and I do hope to army build him. I would like to get three. At some point, it would be nice to have three. I'm not in a huge rush to collect all three, but if I can get a hold of three of these guys, I will. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the review. Let me know what you think of the figure. If you want to subscribe for more Shardimus Prime videos and San Diego Comic-Con updates, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to check out a photo gallery of images, it'll be over at JediInsider.com. And if you want to follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, links in the description below. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace! I'm play with my toys today. I'm gonna play with my toys today. I'm gonna play with my toys today. I'm gonna play with my toys today. Well, I don't care what the strangers say. I'm gonna play with my toys today. That's crispy. We're shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face. I said we're shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face. I said we're shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face. I said we're shot, we're shot.
shine, we shine.